<clears throat> now, I want to tell you uh, two things. I want to get to Mike Huckabee here in a second um, because something happened with Mike Huckabee yesterday. Do you have the audio? It's it's uh, it's okay. tweets. Okay. And he, yeah. So I want to go over this. And as you know, Mike Huckabee, we're not exactly friendly. I find that unfortunate, but, we, but we've had a very long history. And I think he is a um, I think he's a a very crafty progressive. But with that being said, we'll um, tell you I, I, he needs to be defended because he is being horribly wronged here. And we'll get to that in a second. OK, Mike Huckabee, let's go through the tweets here on what happened yesterday. So Huckabee speaking to uh, the Republican National Committee and Dana Bash is there and uh, from CNN and NBC's uh, Casey Hunt. And, and he's speaking and they rush out and tweet some of the things that he said, supposedly. At RNC meeting, Dana Bash reports, Mike Huckabee just said the federal government shouldn't help women who can't control their libido with birth control. Casey Hunt from NBC said, Huckabee, women helpless without Uncle Sugar coming in, providing them birth control because they cannot control their libido. Okay. That sounds pretty bad. Yeah, wow, that's, you... that's the end of his career, yeah. if that's true. Absolutely. That's the end of his career. Talk about taking something out of context to change the meaning of what this is what that is. Now, remember, I want you to I want you to understand clearly. I am not a fan of Mike Huckabee. I'm not here to sweep up after him. But the truth has no agenda. Mm -hmm. So while I don't want Mike Huckabee to be president, <laughs> and I would think that would be a very bad thing to have Mike Huckabee as president. Let's at least deal with the facts as they are. So here's what Mike Huckabee actually said. said, I, th I think it's time for Republicans to no longer accept listening to Democrats talk about a war on women because the fact is the Republicans don't have a war on women. They have a war for women, for them to be empowered, to be something other than, than victims of their gender. Women I know are outraged. The Democrats think that women are nothing more than helpless and hopeless creatures whose only goal in life is to have government provide for them birth control medication. Women I know are smart, educated, intelligent, capable of doing anything anyone else can do. Our party need our party stands for the recognition of the equality of women and the capacity of women. That's not a war on them, it's a war for them. And if the Democrats want to insult the women of America by making them believe that they are helpless without Uncle Sugar coming in and providing for them a prescription each month for birth control because they can't control their libido or the reproductive system without the help of government. And so be it. Let's take that discussion all across America. Because Listen to that. I mean, that's he, they Listen totally to that. changed he's, what he said. He's saying it, the Democrats, saying Democrats, Democrats, Democrats are, saying, Democrats saying, about are saying that that's what you are and you're not that. Yeah. Yeah. That's incredible. And he's saying enough of that nonsense. And for them to tweet but this see, out. This is... Can I tell you something? Amazing. This is what people are done with. This mm -hmm. is truly what people are done with, and that's why they won't listen to anybody. I've been amazed at the media's lack of self-reflection on what role they play. You know, when, when I said on Monday with uh, Megyn Kelly, and I did not say that I disagree with what I said, that I didn't say the truth or anything like that. I didn't say any of that. And what I should have said was how many of us have taken the time to self-reflect. How many people in media have questioned the same thing? Have I played a role in this? Yes. Yes, I have. But so have all of us. But this is the kind of divisive stuff. When, when you're telling the truth, sometimes you have to turn the tables over. And people don't like to hear it. But as long as we're all dealing with the truth, we're okay this is being divisive with lies and once you're divisive with lies there's no there's no place for you to go there's no place for you to go this is what america is tired of the divisiveness using lies and distortion that's what they've done to me i'm not the guy i mean how many times and I know this is the same way in your life. When you have met with somebody and you say, oh, yeah, I'm a supporter of the Tea Party or whatever. And they immediately, you're somebody on the that listens to CNN or MSNBC. They immediately start to shake because they think you're a monster and you're not a monster. Well, did you create that image of the monster or did the press, did the political system the Republicans and the Democrats did the political system do that. Now, have I played a role in any of that? Sure I have. Of course I have. All of us have. 
And I think it's because that we, you know, we, we, I don't even know how to say this. We at times generalize because you can't be specific all the time. And so you'll say the people on the left or the liberals or the Democrats. This is why I have insisted on saying the progressives, because it's as specific as you can get. I have no problem with liberals. If you don't want to control my life, you want to live in another way, so be it. But a progressive wants to control the government. And this is what people are seeing. I really, truly believe Democrats are now starting to see that Barack Obama is doing exactly the same stuff they hated with George W. Bush. They've not been able to fully say it yet, but he without sin cast the first stone. Did you say it when you first saw it in your party? When you first saw it with George W. Bush? When you first started seeing things, you're like, okay, wait a minute. Or did you just go and defend them because, no, it can't be that. It can't be that. You're doing the same thing. Many people in this country don't like it because it's the other side doing it, and they trust their side. I'm saying don't trust either side. You're not supposed to trust either side. You're not supposed to trust government. Oh, there he goes. Conspiracy. Don't trust government. Damn right don't trust government. Don't trust government. That's not Glenn Beck or a conspiracy theorist saying that is Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, George Washington. I don't know. Those guys don't seem all that conspiratorial to me. They don't seem all that crazy to me. Don't trust government. Trust yourself. Trust your neighbor. Trust the Democrats. Trust the Republicans that you know, not the party that you know, the people who vote differently than you. As long as they don't want to control you, as long as they say, you know what, brother, you and I should be able to work this out at the school board meetings. You and I should be able to work this out at the PTA. You and I should be able to work this out at the local level. Then you're good. Then you're good. But anybody who says, no, it's going to be my way or the highway, mm -mm, mm -mm. and that's a progressive, both Republicans and Democrats. Now, how many people are going to be willing to say, I mean, it would be really easy for us to watch or even help because I, I am not a supporter of Mike Huckabee. It would be very easy for me to get on and just say, just bury that story. Just let that go. Let that go. Don't cover it. Nope. It's wrong. And the truth has no agenda. And even though I think Mike Huckabee is wrong for America, I'm sorry. What they're doing to him is wrong. Don't believe he, that is not what he said. And as long as you don't have a press that is reporting the facts, as long as you have a press that has an agenda, we're in trouble as a nation. You have to find those people in the media that will tell you the truth, even if it goes against their own personal desires. Mike Huckabee is not a friend. Mike Huckabee is not helpful, but he's being wronged.